welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to kind of fine tune and prompt the bot. So here you can see that after we created that sub account, the next step button is now visible. So let's click on that. And here we're going to get into, you know, kind of prompting and uh, configuring the bot. But before we get into it, guys, I want to really emphasize this. Do not overthink it, right? Um, it's easy to uh, get caught up saying, you know, oh, prompting the bot, you know, like putting all these conditionals. But really, I'm going to show you guys how simple it is. And the most important part is do not overthink it, right? So we're going to go back to our um, high level custom menu link, right? So I'm just going to switch tabs here, go back to high level. Okay. So I'm here on the script tab, right? I'm on my bot. Um, and starting off at the top, we have the conversation goal. So there's this uh, toggle right here where you can switch on and off to book appointments. And this is basically turning on and off conversational booking. Um, so maybe you just want to send them a link to a sign-up page or a webinar, right, or a sales page. Um, but the majority of you guys are going to be booking appointments. So I'll switch this on. We'll do conversational booking. And you'll see that now we have this booking calendar here. Um, and it has this drop-down that's actually connected to all of your um, calendars on the GHL sub account. So you're able to actually click and you know select that calendar um, from there. So now um, it will actually book directly on this calendar and offer times from that calendar, right? But if we go down here to the next part, right now that we have the conversation goal, let's go and actually edit the script. So this is kind of you know literally just a sales script um, that you can give your bot. It will stick to this. It will try to you know move them to the next step in the script. But let's see what the AI generated. It said, "Hey, have you ever tried mobile auto detailing?" Right? Asked if they ever tried mobile auto detailing. Asked what kind of cars. See if they're curious about any specific blah, blah, blah. But I'm just going to go from scratch here, right? Um, I'm going to say, hey, thanks for clicking on our ad. Are you interested in getting your car detailed? So this is the uh, the first message that the AI bot will send out. Um, and obviously, it's not going to send it out verbatim unless you want it to. Um, but you can include uh, you know information about the lead here. Just like that. That's all you have to do, guys. Just keep it in parentheses. And then you'll notice that step one is actually kind of correlated to our intro message. And we do this on purpose, right? Because um, the intro message is sent out, right? And then the AI will actually see that, okay, the first message I sent out was step one in the script. And that kind of sets the precedent. That kind of sets the tone and lets the AI know that, you know, we actually should follow the script. So the intro message in step one should be almost identical. And guys, honestly, what I've been doing now is literally just saying send intro message. Um, so it's that simple, right? And then, so I'm just going to kind of freestyle this one, guys. Um, so it's for a car detailing, right? So we're going to say, hey, are you looking, are you interested in getting your car detailed, right? Ask them if they've ever had a car detailed before. Right? So that's just a simple question. Right? So, you know, then I just made this up, right? So then we're going to ask them if they'd be interested in having us come to them and detail their car. Um, and you can kind of include an example message in quotes here. So I said, in quotes, would you be interested in having us come out and detail your car for you, right? So again, all we're doing is, are you interested in getting your car detailed? Awesome, have you had your car detailed before? Would you be interested in having us come out and detail your car for you? Right, I'm going to add the next step. Um, and since we're booking conversationally, uh, I always end it with this kind of message. So we're going to say, send the lead two dates and get them to book an appointment. So that's all we have to do, guys. Um, that's literally it, right? Send the lead two dates and get them to book an appointment. It's going to uh, pull those dates from the calendar, and then it's going to send those, and once the lead agrees on a time, it's going to book them on our calendar automatically, all right? So if we scroll down here, we have the extra info slash instructions, and by default, I have it say be chill, which is funny, right? But the way we're actually able to get these you know, super conversational and awesome responses from open AI is that we're actually just talking it to like, like a human. Um, so if you talk to the AI like a bot, and you know, talk to it like it is a robot, it's going to respond like a robot, right? But if you talk to it like your buddy or you talk to it, you know, super casual, you're going to get that type of response back, which is what we're looking for. Um, so now I'm actually going to show you guys the knowledge base and the FAQs. Again, um, the most important thing is do not overthink this. So over here on the knowledge and the FAQs, you'll see these are all uh, generated from our website, right? So, hey, can I book my car detailing online? Absolutely, right? Do you guys come to me for the detailing? Yep, we're all about convenience. And notice all of these FAQs are super, super casual. And that's, again, you know, um, 
how we're able to get these awesome responses. But if you want to edit any of them, of course, you can just edit and save, or you can add one manually. But again, guys, I would recommend, honestly, no more than 20. Um, you really do not need a lot of FAQs here. And the more FAQs you have, honestly, it's just going to confuse a lot more. But so super, super simple. Um, that's the script in the FAQs. And in the next video, I'll actually uh, be uh, testing it out and turning it on for you guys. So I will see you guys then.